And now, ladies and gentlemen, we're here today to discuss the origins of the word lack. It's a word, I think, that women don't feel too cosy about being used, referring to themselves. But I said the best way to find out about it is to consult Father Joe, who besides being a man of the cloth is also a historian. So could we and, a biblical biblical scholar. and a biblical scholar, folks. Here you go. Well, Peter, you know, the, 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 the common usage today, nowadays, would date, the word lack would date back to the medieval period, the time of the knights. You right. shine an arm and all that. Right. And the lack, or the lackey, as the origin of the word, is a French word called lackey. L-A-Q-U-I-S. Lackey. Oh. Lackey. Yes, 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 and yes, yes. L-A-C-K-E-Y would be the normal spelling of it. The normal, I should say. Spell. And it was really meant for a man and not a woman. Right. Because it was the, 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 the servant of oh, the he's knight. A, he's a fine lack. But, well, well, you wouldn't say that. <laughs> but, but it came on as time had gone it applied it was applied to a woman right but the why, why though that's what we're because what we a lackey know. was a person who looked after the knight done his errands for him minded his horse and in the modern terms kind of like a servant exactly that's what he exactly was a bit of a servant there was two differences a servant might come along and hand something to the master of the house the lackey would be the man who's holding suppose a, 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 a tray full of we say Tea and biscuits, right? Right, right, right. So the servant would come along and would hand the tea and the biscuits to the master. This is the lackey. The, no, he's not the, the oh. lackey. Is the man who would be holding the tray. So we have he'd a man. More as a, if, yeah, he would be more of a, a servant, a servant. Right. Someone had to do is that the lower end of the rung, you know. Right, that's, right, I mean, right. that was women's role, if you know what I mean, Peter. In in the previous discussions, no, we no. <laughs> no, we won't go there. Don't Peter. like the sound no, of this. No, no, no. 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 But Peter, now that's the origin of it, and but it's a very, very old word. It's actually referred to in the Bible. Right. Now the word lack, the first mention I could find of it was actually in the Bible. Right. The old Hebrew word for a rib oh. is a rib. 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 Is a lack. Mm. Now think about the Bible. You're a man who knows a good bit about the Bible. Mm. Mm. What did God do? What did He take from Adam to make a woman? A rib. And he made, he took the rib from Adam and he said to Adam, Adam, I took a rib from your body, here is your lack. <laughs> here is your lack. Yeah, well, it's through, here is your rib. Oh, here your is your rib. rib. Yeah, okay. Here is your rib. But there's another, another reference to it, uh, and uh, that's when uh, the devil tempted Adam and Eve in the garden. Of course, Adam immediately realised yes. that he was Adam made a big mistake by eating the apple. So he went, he went to the devil. And he said, he said, Satan, he said, why did you tempt us with the apple? And the devil laughed and said, ask your lack. <laughs> right. <laughs> right, 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 right. So, now, God was very angry when they ate the apple and said to Adam, why did you let that woman tempt you, he said. And Adam replied, God, he said, from the day you gave her to me, she had me head right. <laughs> Found something wrong every day, Adam the dinosaurs are in the garden again. Adam, the dinosaurs are out to break in the old fence. Oh my God. You see? Oh my God. So by the time he said, God, he said, by the time she came to me with that apple, I would have had the dinosaur shite just to shut her up. Oh my God. <laughs> so that's about, about, about the time. And then, there was, well, God said, there's nothing we can do now. He said, you'd have to leave the garden and bring your lack with you. A rib, you know what I mean? Must always remember that it refers to the rib. Oh, bring a rib with you. Bring the rib, yeah, but the lack is the old Hebrew word. He said, get out of the garden now, he said, and bring that lack with you. Right, right. Because right. he was very, very angry. And God turned, and Adam turned to God and said, oh God, he says, if only you had not taken one rib, but a couple of ribs, and bite him with a bit of cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> We would have made cider out of a couple of apples. And we said, and we'd be still having a good crack. So God said, when I'm Adam, he said, I'm sorry about this, he said, no, but he said, out you go, he said, you and your lack. Right. That's the origin of it. So but just to reassure everybody out there, it is not directed at a woman. We are talking about a rib. 
when we arrive, write about arrive, that. Arrive. That's the old, that's the very, very old Or a manservant. And right. you'll find all this in the book of Genesis, Peter. Very good. So well, I'm sure all the you know, female... Or, as I said, happier. some people call it, the, uh, a lot of people call it Genesis. Other yeah. people call it Adam and his lack. Genesis. Wasn't that the report that they did for the FAI? No, 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 no. Genesis is the first book of the Bible. But it's also known in some religious sects as Adam and his lack. Right. That's Adam and his rib. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we hope that was a bit informative for you. See you again soon. Thank See you. you. Thank you, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> you have me in trouble.